Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve the equation by row equivalent matrix method. So we have a equation you can see here and we have to solve by row equivalent matrix method. Let's take a start. The augmented matrix is so we have to take coefficient of x, coefficient of y and coefficient of z. So what is here coefficient of x minus 5 and here coefficient of y is 9 and coefficient of z is uh, 0. Z is not here so we can write down 0. Or you can do at once, you can take this equation at first, this equation in second and this equation in third also because we need, we have to always convert in the form of 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 0 0 0 0 1 and here we get this x y and z so you can we can take this equation at first this equation in second and this equation in third or you can take at first this and we can interchange so i'm going to take this equation at first so what is the coefficient of x here one coefficient of y is y is not given so coefficient of y is 0 and the coefficient of z is 1 and here constant number 1 now this equation what is the coefficient of x coefficient of x x is not given here variable x is not here so we have to write down 0 and coefficient of y is 2 so we have to write here 2 and the coefficient of z nothing is here so 1 and here constant number 2 so 2 we have to write at last we can take this equation you can interchange and you can take direct coefficient of x is minus 5 so write on minus 5 coefficient of y is 9 so we can write on 9 and z is not here variable z is not here so coefficient of z we can write here 0 and at last now what is the constant number 3 so we have to write on 3 hope you understand this how to write on okay you can write serially also and after that row you can interchange row 1 row 2 row 3 you can interchange now we have to convert in this form 1 0 0 so you can see here 1 0 already here now this we have to convert in the form of 0 how to convert this in the form of 0 we have to multiply 1 by 5 when you multiply by 5 what happened 5 into 1 5 and we have to add here let's convert this in the form of 0 then we have to convert this in the form of 0 then this in the 1 this already in the form of 0 and this we have to convert in the form of 0 this also we have to convert in the form of 0 and this in the form of 1 just follow these rules okay now what we have to do at first we have to uh, convert this in the form of 0 so we have to multiply 1 by 5 and we have to add here so this one is equivalent to 1 0 1 and here we have to write down 1 0 2 1 and here 2 let's multiply by 5 and add here minus 5 plus 5 we get here 0 let's multiply this uh, first let's write on this one r3 tends to this we are applying here 5 r1 row 1 we have to multiply by 5 when you multiply by 5 we get 0 5 into 0 0 we have to subtract by 9 we get same 9 only okay after that we have to multiply by 5 5 into 1 5 and we have to subtract here 0 minus 5 we have to add here so 0 plus 5 we get here 5 this we have to multiply by 5 5 into 1 5 and 3 we have to add 3 plus 5 we get here 8 hope you understand up to here after this uh, you can see here we have to convert this in the form of 1 this we have to convert in the form of 0 to convert in the form of 0 uh, we need here 1 then only we can convert so let's divide by 2 here 1 0 1 and here 1 let's divide by 2 0 when you divide by 2 we get here 1 when you divide by 2 we get here 1 by 2 and when you divide by 2 we get 1 what we done here r2 tends to 1 by 2 r2 row 2 we divided by 1 1 uh, by 2 so we get here 1 and last we can write on same now we need we have to convert this in the form of 0 so we have to multiply by 9 and we have to subtract from r3 so we have to multiply this by 9 and we have to subtract here let's do it 1 0 1 and here we have 1 this one also same we have to write on 0 1 1 by 2 and here 1 this we have to multiply by 9 so r3 we, we have to apply this operation r3 is equal to r3 minus 9 r2 we have to multiply row 2 by 9 and we have to subtract from r3 so this we have to multiply by 9 
0 into 9 0 we have to subtract here we get 0 only we have to multiply by 9 9 into 1 9 9 minus 9 we get here 0 here we have to multiply by 9 so we get here 9 by 2 and we have to subtract from 5 so we can write here 5 minus 9 by 2 what happened here 2 into 5 10 10 minus 9 by 2 we get here 1 by 2 so we have to write here 1 by 2 and here this we have to multiply by 9 9 because 9 are 2 9 into 1 9 and we have to subtract from 8 8 minus 9 we get here minus 1 hope you understand up to here now this we have to convert in the form of 1 okay we have to convert in the form of 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 main diagonal should be 1 other all 0 so here 1 here 1 now we have to convert this one in the form of 1 what we have to do we have to multiply by so when you multiply by 2 we get here 1 when you multiply by 2 what we get here we get here 1 so let's multiply by 2 0 1 0 oh sorry here 1 0 1 and here constant number 1 after that 0 1 1 by 2 and here 1 let's multiply by 2 2 into 0 0 0 when you multiply by 2 we get here 1 when you multiply by 2 we get here minus 2 what we done here R3 tends to 2 R3 after this this we have to convert in the form of 0 this we have to convert in the form of 0 how to convert this one in the form of 0 this 2 we have to subtract when you subtract this 2 we get here 0 how to convert this one in the form of 0 we have to multiply this by 1 by 2 when you multiply by 1 by 2 we get 1 into 1 by 2 1 by 2 and we have to subtract here let's do it now we have to apply this one r1 tends to r1 minus r3 and r2 tends to r2 minus 1 by 2 r3 okay so let's first do for uh, write on r3 and operation do for r1 r1 means r1 minus r3 to get r1 we have to subtract r3 from r1 so 1 minus 0 we get 1 0 minus 0 we get 0 1 minus 1 we get 0 and 1 minus minus plus 1 plus 2 we get here 3 okay up to here after this for r2 what we have to do here from r2 from r2 this row 2 what we have to do we have to subtract 1 by 2 r3 so first of all r3 we have to multiply by 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 0 0 and we have to subtract from here so we get 0 this we have to multiply by 1 by 2 r3 1 by 2 into 0 0 we have to subtract from 1 we get 1 we have to multiply this 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 1 we get 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 we get 0 and here we have to multiply by 1 by 2 when you multiply by 1 by 2 we get here what happened minus 2 into 1 by 2 we get this is cancel minus 1 and what we have to do we have to subtract from here minus and minus it will be plus so we get here how much 2 so you can see here this is in the form of identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 main diagonal should be 1 other all non diagonal should be 0 therefore x is equal to we have 3 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to how much minus 2 is the answer hope you understand this video related with the row equivalent matrix method uh, if you understand please hit the like button and please share with your friends thank you